Hello and welcome back. In today's practice, you will need a bolster or a good substitute, two blocks and a strap. And of course, you know you can always substitute these props with whatever you have at home. But to begin, we'll start in any comfortable seated position. So you may wish to use your props to elevate your seat or get really comfortable here. Find a position that feels good for you. Lengthen your spine and take a moment to close your eyes and tune in to the here and now. So if you have ever felt stress before, which I'm sure we all have, you know how it can feel very all-encompassing and permanent. We tend to often forget that Everything in life is ephemeral, every moment is fleeting, even moments of stress and anxiety. So our mantra today is, this too shall pass. And this is something that can be really powerful when we feel stressed, just reminding ourselves that this moment is not forever, and it will also pass, just like all other things. So focus on the here and now. Become totally aware of the present moment. Observe how your body feels in this moment. Observe the patterns of your breath in this moment. And observe the fluctuations of your mind. Whatever sensations or thoughts might arise, either right now or throughout this whole practice, or even throughout your whole day, continuously remind yourself that this too shall pass. So even now as you're seated here, if you feel a slight discomfort, or perhaps an itch. Instead of immediately reacting, see if you can pause for a moment and acknowledge that this sensation will pass. And perhaps you'll find that after acknowledging that this will pass, you don't even need to act on your impulse to move your leg or scratch your itch or whatever it may be. As we move through our practice today, we'll work with some long holds. And as you hold these shapes, as you feel sensation in your body or movements in your mind, simply remind yourself that this too shall pass. So when you feel ready, Slowly flutter open your eyes and take one block and come to lie down on your back. Bend your knees and place your feet onto the floor and then press down against your feet to lift your hips off of your mat and slide your block on its lowest height setting underneath your pelvis Try and place the block right onto your sacrum, which is this triangular shaped bone just below your lower back and right above your tailbone. It's at the very back of your pelvis. 
and it should feel like a stable place so you can really release the weight of your hips onto the block and relax down. And then soften your arms into any place of comfort. They can be by your sides, up over your head, anywhere that feels good for you. And allow your weight to melt into the floor. Perhaps close your eyes and start to slow the rhythm of your breath. Now you may wish to stay exactly as you are if this feels comfortable for you. Or if you'd prefer, you can bend into your right knee and draw it in towards your chest. You can wrap your arms around your shin and gently relax the weight of your arms toward the floor to give it some weight to anchor down. And then from here you can slide your left foot forward. And you're welcome to keep the knee bent or completely straighten your leg as you release your heel to the floor. Now you might already immediately notice some intense sensation in your left hip flexors, the front of your left thigh. So you can either keep it as it is, or if it feels a bit too intense, you can soften the knee once again. So choose a place that you can relax into. Soften the weight of your shoulders. Soften the weight of your arms. Soften the movements of your breath. And let this soften the movements of your mind. As we move longer and longer into the hold of this shape, you might notice sensations intensify. You might notice an urge to move or to wiggle around or to change positions. Remind yourself that this too shall pass. And perhaps you'll find that you don't need to act on that impulse. 